In this video, I'll show you how to search for and apply custom tags to your systems. Custom tags are used to easily identify systems and can be used in many different ways, including filtering questions, targeting systems for actions, tracking the different stages of a complex deployment process, or grouping systems together that may otherwise have nothing else in common. In this scenario, I want to tag a few systems that have specific registry value data that we identified earlier. First, we want to choose a unique tag that's not already being used in our environment. I'll start by typing custom tags into the question bar and select get custom tags from all machines from the list of suggestions. Here we see all of the custom tags that exist in our environment. We can use the filter by text box to quickly search the results and find a tag that's not currently in use somewhere else. For this scenario, I want to use test-group as my tag, which I see is not currently in use here. Now that we've chosen a unique tag, I'll return to the question we used earlier. Using the checkboxes next to each result, we'll select systems that we want to tag and select Deploy Action. From the Action Deployment page, we select the package we want to deploy. There are two packages that we can use to apply custom tags, one for Windows systems and the other for non-Windows. In this scenario, our initial question is only targeting Windows systems by registry value. So we'll select the custom tagging dash add tags package. If you want to apply custom tags to both Windows and non-Windows systems, you'll want to deploy a separate action for each. You can filter by Windows or non-Windows in the targeting criteria section at the bottom of this page or by using your initial targeting question. Here we'll add our tag. If you wish to add multiple tags here, they are space delimited. Once you have selected a deployment package, the name field in the action details will be auto-filled using the name of the package you selected. You can change this and add a description if you wish. Next, we choose our deployment schedule. For this scenario, we'll use a one-time deployment to start as soon as possible, and we have no reason to distribute the package over time here. In the final section, we can verify our targeting before deploying our action. We can see here the number of systems we currently have targeted. We can review the entire targeting question by selecting Show Entire Question. We're also given the option to add additional filtering by action group, computer group, manual lists, or even building another filtering question. Lastly, the Deploy Actions button at the bottom will be grayed out until we select Show Preview to Continue. This allows us to verify the system count of our targeting before deploying the action. Select Deploy Action, confirm the estimated clients affected, and select Yes to confirm your action. From this page, we'll see the status of our action as it gets deployed to our endpoints.